So if it's all right with the GM, I'd like to sell back all of my insiders. Wow. Okay. Of which I have four. Yeah. And by quick draw and sudden. This represents a sharp turn for Anushka, who well, I already have the speed of twelve. So there you go. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. I, I would say it's the eye of the tiger, but no, it's the eye of the bat. Indeed, indeed. It is the thrill of the fight. <laughs> cool. Okay. Everybody else happy where their characters are at this point in time, feeling ready to fight um, giant goblins. I've got three experience. Doesn't matter for me. Gotcha. Okay. Okay then. Here we go. All right. Well, uh, I guess we've been live, right? So uh, let's do the intro thing. This is the Shades Tale. It is a second edition Iron Claw actual play game that we are streaming. Um, we finally have uh, Theta back on the mic, and. Um, Let's start, as we do every week, by introducing our characters and talking about our party goals. And we can start with Theta. Uh, yeah, Harmon, donkey soldier, personality, relentless, motto, victory or death. The only goal that I currently have is to deliver the invitation to the reclusive mage. Cool. And next up, we've got Arc Lloyd playing Connor. Yes, I am Arc Lloyd. I play Connor Laverde de Ecrevis. The Brazen Raccoon Knight, whose motto is one hand washes the other. And I believe our goal is to deliver the invitation to the reclusive mage. It is indeed our goal. And last but not least, we've got Rafferty playing Anushka. Hello, world. I'm Norman Rafferty. I'm playing Anushka, the Microbat Messenger, where my motto is no, no fear, serve with joy. And yes, uh, I suppose I also have the. So we've already delivered the parcel to Harrogate. Indeed. Indeed you did. Uh, and, and got a good bath. Did that too. Um, Anushka made some friends with Tess the Ineffable and her traveling circus of performers who yes, you realized... Yes, they to dance. Which pointedly I kept. You kept you kept performance dance? Nice. I kept that. Why would I not keep that? Right? I mean, I... That was there's a you song know, in my heart and a gun at my hip. Most gifts, uh, I really, I couldn't care less if you guys traded them back. I expected everyone to trade back performance, but I secretly, quietly hoped that you uh, guys. My, my head is, uh, my feet are loose, and my fancies are free. So no, it's uh, uh, at, I guess at some moment I entertained the thought of perhaps uh, giving all of this life up. What is this the point? I've seen the world. I've seen too much bloodshed. What's the point of delivering all of these messages? Whereas, look, look at these people. Uh, you know, the they they laugh, uh, apply their trades. That they, they've you know they they're enjoying life. Um, but then I guess it weighs upon me seeing their you know eventually the work side of it as they have to make sure that they meet uh take the pennies they get for the for the for mm. the hard one gigs they have and working with their props ego feuds and i realized that no not even among these theater people uh everywhere are reality yeah it's that wanderlust uh that i can feel uh makes my ears twitch mm. and so i suppose once again uh um uh, i must uh i must be off in search of adventure there is so much more to see and you have been um you're put into a position to see yet another part of the world that um, not a whole lot of Calabrians will dare to adventure or see in their lifetime as you guys have been tasked with delivering this invitation to the Fire Mage. I will give you a little bit more uh, backstory here. A reminder, you delivered the package that you had been escorting across the Via Salutis, across basically the entirety of the island of Calabria. Um, and you delivered it to Harrogate to a young lioness, sort of the the last surviving member of the Lennox household. Lionella Lennox, who seemed to be a little bit of a brat, took a shine to Connor and his knightly demeanor and um, confessed that she was trying to put together a group of uh, 
elementalists of magicians who could be war mages and help the uh, current archduke of the Bisclavret, Bisclavret. Um, and to this end, she was trying to recruit a particularly powerful individual that she had heard was living up in the forests to the north of Harrogate in the Phelan territory. She had sent multiple emissaries out to talk to him, them, but those that returned returned badly burned and confessed that they were not even able to uh, find this individual, that he kept company with other mages, and that anyone not of their group was uh, attacked on sight. So she is not deterred, apparently, um, and she has offered you good payment to help her complete this quest. She doesn't even really need you to retrieve the individual just to find them and to make sure that they got her invitation. Because she's quite sure that if they do get this invitation that they won't be able to turn it down. Um, yeah, well, that means traveling north into uh, Phelan territory. I believe, and it's been a week, so... Uh, if I'm missing any fine details, you guys will remind me, but um, I believe one of the last things we did before leaving was Connor rolled for his irregulars, and one of these irregulars um, that he picked up was Fiorenza, the follower, who is a female jackal ranger who has confessed that she has familiarity uh, traveling and escorting parties up into the Feyland territories. She does speak the language more or less, which could be useful uh, as a guide up there. But besides that, she's your basic um, irregular, so D6 is all around. Okay. All right. So, yes. Um, how did you guys want to prepare for this journey north? You've been told that this place that you're trying to get to is um, not that far. I may be retconning this a little bit after looking at the map, but it's only um, two days, maybe two and a half days travel from Harrogate, assuming you don't get lost in the woods. Eaten well, yeah, by but we're, going, or... we're going into Phelan Domain, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. so the first problem of going to Phelan Domain is there are no roads. Yes, bring the war wagon. Maybe not the best strategy there. Right. Um, yeah, no, we already right. covered that. That we weren't bringing it. Yeah, so we'll ha we'll have to to buy that. And the second, uh, it, it's going to be forest, like lots and lots of unbroken forest, uh, interrupted by swamps. You know it. Shout out to our Irish friends. <laughs> and just going based on the topography of the map here, it looks like. It's a fairly hilly region, at least just north of Harrogate. Once you clear what I assumed are sort of the deforested areas around Harrogate. Um, yeah, you ever been to Ireland? I have not personally, no. Oh, okay. Okay, it goes up and down a lot. And where it goes down, there's lots of mud. There you go. Uh, uh, like, so apparently the capital of Ireland is Dublin translates from the original language as Black Lake. Apparently it was originally just a big, giant, fetid swamp that they drained because they were stubborn enough to do that. <laughs> um, Good for them. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so we're going to go into a place where... Well, I just spent all my points on this crap. Uh, we're going to go to a place yeah, where we don't speak the language. Uh, they're not going to honor money. I mean, like one of the other big deals is like, okay, so the Iron Claw game is set up like your typical because it's what you guys you can carry weapons freely apparently this is legal and you can find inns to rest at or give them a coin and in return they have space for you to stay more coin they'll serve you food mm -hmm. okay when you go into Phelan domain there's no inns there's no one like that no roads there's no traffic people are not doing so uh, we will have to rough it. And everywhere we go, not only are we running into Phelan, who claimed domain there, 
but there's also the Cullen, the Scribera, and the other tribes who also claim that they own the place. And they're going to look at us and think, huh, you guys are several days away, perhaps even weeks away, from anyone who would take any sort of vengeance or revenge on you. Uh, and so all of your goods are forfeit. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm not saying they would. I'm saying, you know, we're trespassers. They're going to look at us and say, you're not even supposed to. Be. Uh, and then they're going to say, by the way, you don't speak our language. So this is that's what's going to make this scary. That we're going to, um, you know, all those conveniences you take for granted are not going to be here. Uh, scary for Connor, anyway. It will be one of the few places where Connor can't really throw his weight around. I mean, I just mean, I'm not aside. scared of anything, and Anushka can fly away from anything. <laughs> well, Harmon, I'm not worried about. Uh, I can fly away from anything, and Connor, make sure you present your um, coat of arms strongly, because you have, this is one of my favorite things in all of games, make sure you have a believable ransom. So that you're uh, worth capture, so people will pay money to get you back. The believable ransom. It's my favorite game. That's a okay. ransom that other people believe. Because they're not going to capture you if they don't. But on the other hand, I'm also assuming you'd like to spend this little time being captured if possible. Is that my Pro- understanding? Probably. Yep. All right. So. <laughs> But I mean, it's just so basically, I think we already agree. We're basically going to have to gear up. Like, we can't just depend on, you know, inns and that sort of community there. We're going to have to get our own food and haul it. Because if you guys want to forage, this place is owned. So if you were one, like, if there were a bunch of guys there thinking, I wonder if I should arrest you, I wonder if I should, like, take those people and enslave them and take all their goods and make them forfeit. No, nah, they haven't really broken any laws. Oh, wait, they're hunting on my land. That breaks the one law. Mm. I mean, I don't know if I'll... y'all recall when I slept out in the woods while y'all were in Bruges. Well, yeah, but you're at the level of, like, you know, is it worth it? We'll look at you. He's got that crown hovering in the hut above his head. Oh, wait, it's not a crown, that's a skull. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, you just look like that. Don't yeah, I mean I'm the champion of two out of three kingdoms. Hey. Did they give you a trophy for that? No, I've I've defeated the champion of the fighting pits of uh, Harrogate. I've defeated the best nobles about the Epitopois. Yeah, but did they give you like a trophy or a medal or something? No. I mean that? no. Word of mouth okay. is all I've got. Yeah, but if you can get Dolaro you got and they give you like a and all the row and the, the Phelan. So right. which one of these uh Cathars are we going to? Um well uh hold on a second. I think it has to be one that he's made down. up since he put down two days travel. Uh okay. is, so first, yeah, we're not going to the Cathars. Um there is it is one of the five clans. Because it is mind. what a square. A league, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. There, uh, there are well, there's four tribes of the I have to I'm talking about like this area. Forward. This okay. one is going to be the okay, and these names are going to throw me for a loop, so I'm going to just try. But D uh, Syke, D E A S A I C H is the southern known as the, like the southern Phelan clan, um, that have had. They deal with border disputes with the Bisclavre, and I assume that if you were getting into their territory, it would be sort of in this, yeah, this yeah. general uh, area. Uh, the, the, the thing that there's only one map in the book of Phelan City. And see, that's not even that, that big. So anywhere we're going is going to be smaller than that. So, um, yeah. And also, like this is rough, hilly terrain, so usually it's one square a day, but that's one square a day for leisurely road travel. Uh, it right. could take us a lot longer to get through uh, uh, these areas. They're going to be hilly and miserable. Or if you can fly, or yeah, open terrain. Why do you ask? Right? I just don't care about being miserable. Just uh, I do care about going. being miserable. So, well, I don't. 
I'm pragmatic. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and gird up, and uh, I guess I'm ready to go. So I, I'm going to miss, you know, straw pallets and uh, free-flowing wine. How long do rations <laughs> last again? They're mandates. No, I mean, Got how it. long do they last until they go bad? Oh, until they go bad? Oh, uh, we didn't really say in game. So... Oh, okay, I thought they did. Never mind. Uh, how much... Uh, uh... How much uh, are I mean, uh, per man day? I think it's yeah. one denarii for carnivore, and th- or n- then like half a dinar for yeah, it, it, it's a uh, half for half uh, for herbivore and one for carnivore. Um, uh, but the carnivore ones weigh like half, maybe a third as much mm-hmm. protein. Right. So say four days. Just well, to, I have to make sure meat rations for twenty-seven days, so. Well, you remember we bought rations for the whole trek out here. So is that twenty-seven days that you bought off for the trek here, or do you have leftover? Uh, well, I think the twenty. I think most of the twenty-seven would have gone. Okay, you're right. I'll just yeah, because track. I mean, I bought like sixty-two <laughs> days because I knew I was picking up my ally on the way. <laughs> right, so, I'm just going to assume that I used all that already. I'm going to buy new rations. Yeah, well, we should buy new. But I'm just trying to figure out how many days I want because. If it's two days away, then let's throw in some extra for travel time because we don't know actually. We might get lost or it might be a harder hike than we thought. So I'll put two days uh, travel, so I'll put four days travel, double that to eight, and maybe throw in an extra four days wiggle room. So I'm going to buy 12 days. You're not worried about harming. Now let's talk about the bat with the body of D4. Mm. Um... Yeah, the food weighs more than I do. There you go. Um, so, Connor, um, how many hangers on do you have? Good question. I don't think we uh, have that figured out for our trip. I was going to get some different ones. Yeah, you so can roll if you like. how many do you have? Pardon? Just one? Let me see. Well, you have the ally, so that's one, right? Yeah, sure he's you got get one partner. by default. You get one if your allies assist that helps you out, and then I've got a few others. So, how many do you have? Right now, I have uh, Louis, Raphael, and Terenza, the follower, Jack Ranger. So, okay, apparently, I do have it for this trip. I just forgot about doing that already. So, one of those guys would be nice enough to carry some of my stuff, right? I'm sure they would. Are your allies or regulars buying their own food? Yeah, they'll need their own food. How much food did they come with? How much money did uh, they come yeah. with? They I, assume with, they six come with I assume they come with their career die and whatever. Yeah. Well, they're going to want to share. Uh, they want to get paid, too. So how much are we getting paid for them? Actually, it wasn't clarified. We could retroactively do something, though, well, Connor, if you'd like to ask. Connor is also rich, so Connor could just tap wealth and get us unloaded. We all know I charge 60 a day. I mean, that's why Connor attracts people. He's noble and money. I thought it was a crazy money, personality. Whose wealth gift is never untapped. Um, well, the wealth gift's no good to you untapped. Right? Ooh. Can't take it with you. Yep. Says you. So, so, yeah, I guess Connor will sponsor this. And we'll all get food. You're lucky. I'm lucky. The band is. I'm trying to figure out how much extra food. I bought uh, strength and improved strength. Oh, so okay. I can now Sweet. carry a lot more yeah. stuff. Connor's nice. always trying to fight me. <laughs> well, I just wanted to ask if some of your followers can carry my food because I can't fly and carry food. Now I can just drop the food when combat starts, but um, I'd rather talk some of your followers. And carry. I mean, yeah, and you also never know exactly when combat might start. Marigna could drop out of some dark clouds, or some spiders could fall out of the trees when we're not looking. Hmm. 
Right. Oh, it's that. one bad initiative, bro. Is Anushka a carnivore or an herbivore? Omni, right? I would think. No. Who? What species uh, are you? Anushka. Yeah, bat. Oh, I'm a carnivore. Oh, say, okay. What do bugs count as? Yeah, I'm not a fruit bat. I'm a micro bat. Right, I'm going to have to figure out my uh, initiative for all my uh, different guys here now. Although I think Connor has enough strength to carry on um, initiative rations. I mean, do you have any uh, guys that have danger sense? Because otherwise it's just 2d6, isn't it? I think he meant encumbrance. Oh, well, he said initiative. That's why I was going. Yeah. I'm sorry. So that yeah. should be the easiest thing. So I think Connor's the best guy for carrying stuff. Ah, uh, yes. Connor I, the pack mule. I pack Connor on the head. Yeah, you keep thinking that. Well, at least for the party, since you're not the one sponsoring them, are you? There, aren't I don't know what you're saying. You're paying me 60 a day? Because that's going to really eat away at your family's wealth. True. So you want to claim that you're sponsoring me? Is that the tact you want to take right now? I don't think Connor's that rich. <laughs> I mean, because it's going to be two days there and two days back. It's four days at 60 dinar a day. Well, hey, anything gets you closer to killing uh, Aslov, eh? Not just not just wink. Yeah, yeah. If I die to a Marigna out here, then AC don't have to pay me. I guess you'll also become the richest people you've ever known once you loot my body. Mm. I do have quite a bit of wealth on me. Also, my <laughs> armor is very expensive. I tell you, if we get one left from like a party wipe, like if everyone but one person survives, that one person could just retire. Yeah, what's that thing that like the lottery or whatever when like war buddies would all pitch in money and then if like anyone who survived splits it at the end and get these like huge treasure troves? I forget there was some word for that. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I can't remember. I remember it was in an episode of Archer. That was Yeah. It was probably for me was probably Law and Order. I feel like that was a Law and Order plot line somewhere along the way. Uh, how many rations did Anushka pick up? Raf has tuned out our whole discussion. I'm I'm ready to go. <laughs> well, he asked you a question. Uh, yeah, I'm asking uh, how many rations I, I'm carrying. So yeah, so you you I thought you said somebody could carry my stuff. Yeah, he's yeah, asking just how gonna, much you're carrying. He's carrying. Yeah, are you taking four days? You're taking eight days at Harmon? I'm taking twelve days. I'm taking eight days. I'm taking eight days. I'm done. Sorry, I already marked that down on my. Sheet. I'm taking twelve days because you never know what the hell's going to happen out here, and I'm taking twenty-four well, days because I'm also carrying for my ally. Yep. So let's go. Are you ready to go? Okay. Um, and Connor, I'll say if you can't personally carry all of that. Um, we can distribute it among your irregulars. Yeah, That's fine. I'm too. figuring out how much I have to spend on my regulars now. If you can't personally carry it, we could just travel slower. There you go. Hike around encumbered. Um, Fiorenza travels with just a few days for herself, but she's she says she likes to forage. She's quite familiar with these with these woods. Actually, before I say that, I should make sure she actually has. Yeah, she's got multiple dice in endurance and foraging. I believe in the book is mind body endurance. Right. So she could probably problem do is, that. is that we're on foreign land. So even though the land is rife for foraging, um, that would be illegal. Be us. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, okay. we could probably get away. Probably. I mean, we're subtle. We like w when we wander through the woods, we're like ghosts. 
We don't announce our presence by constantly chattering and yammering uh, and crunching underfoot and blotting out the sun with our monstrous silhouettes, right? Yeah, oh, exactly. You started off being subtle there, and I almost couldn't tell if you were joking until the very end. <laughs> no, I assume you guys are bringing the doctor with you. Uh, so, um, I suppose we can't stop him. Yeah. Um, and and he has, he may not have a name, but he is known far and wide as a chatty Kathy. So, yeah. So I'm not that worried. Yeah, I've All never right. been to Phelan Domain. It'd be exciting. But, I mean, we are literally outlaws, as in we are beyond the law. Well, the law does not protect. <laughs> true all right well so you guys set out um and after uh, a pretty easy hike north through the cleared territories of the bisclavret you uh find yourselves in a lightly uh foliage forest um as the inclines grow steeper the foliage grows denser uh fiorenza who was your jackal guide becomes more and more terse you can see that when you speak to her it seems like she's only ever half listening she's constantly stopping to sniff the wind you can see her ears twitch um and it belies a nervousness uh she cautions you all to try to be as quiet as possible and uh not to touch anything and not to stray too far from where she is leading we're only um, uh, traveling like eight hours a day, right? Yeah. Because um, although after that it becomes a guess. forced march, I think, right? Yeah, we, uh, yeah. The game assumes eight hours a day. You can do more if you have endurance or native to the forest. I'm both, so I'm willing to push. I mean, I'm yeah, willing to you... push. I just didn't know if we were pushing or not. You guys totally could if you would like to. Fiorenza is is ready for it. I guess. To this point, a lot of the times we've been limited by the the pack animals, right? Because they don't like to yeah. well, we hike in the dark. Well, I think the but problem bring here them. is also we have a bunch of typicals who might not be able to pull it out. Uh, I would mostly be worried about your hangers on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're native to forest, so I get. Uh, I mean, like I could do the. I'm, I'm walking backwards because, like, I've got hiking and forest and endurance. You... Ironically, I sold hiking back. Uh, but, uh, but I've got endurance. Uh, basically, we would all throw and then just slow this person. And there's an assist rule in the game. So uh, I could sacrifice one of my successes to boost somebody else. Hmm. I'm just asking, so is it, it worth the effort, though? How many hangers on do we have? Three, not counting Potter. So four, let's be honest. Plus I have my ally. So oh, it's right, just so a five. better than not chance that someone's going to fail. The thing you're worried about is a botch. Well, it's still it's five chances of a botch, not including us, the PCs. That's uh, if we're not in a rush, let's just, let's just trudge it. I no bought, one's chasing us at present. So yes, I bought plenty of rations. I'm ready for a slow track. No one's chasing us. We have plenty of food. We're good. For, no reason to be Donner Party. But yes. Okay. So, someone play a lively tune. Would you, you guys play music, right? <laughs> yeah, one of us does, yeah. Hey, who's got an instrument? It's a flute, uh, remember? Hua has a... Okay. And I will dance. Hua Zhao. Hua Zhao. All right. Um, okay, so if you guys are going to press on into the uh, into the evening, let's have everybody roll body and hiking. And it looks well, like no, for we're the... Not. That's what we're you're not just, going to. That's what we were oh, talking you're... about. Got it. Yeah, okay, no, we're we're going to take this to a leisurely pace. All right, yeah. E okay. e even though we might only get half a square a day, that's fine. But we bought extra... Yeah, Fiorenza. Uh, we look for signs of trails, of which there might be some. Yeah, but um, unfortunately, speaking of that whole hiking and endurance thing, 
We're in wolf territory, where they get forest and endurance. They do not give a care. They can run while they're asleep. <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah, yikes. So, so it feels like also the territory would be full of marked territory. Yeah, you do see signs here and there. Um, although Fiorenza is trying her best to kind of avoid areas that are trafficked by the Phalon, if and where possible. Um, when you guys set up camp, at your suggestion of have <laughs> having a uh, a dance party, she says, "Yeah, that's not this is a terrible idea." She says that the the Phalon in this area are actually um, well known for their music. They are. Uh, it's said that their their chief is a is a bard, but um, so who knows? Maybe that could. Any skill you have with a flute might be helpful they, uh, down the form line. But... Panels of three judges that. Uh... Yeah, the three panels of judges. Uh, well, the yeah. satire is uh, a an Irish custom is basically a poetry slam or a, a rap battle. Epic mm. rap battle. But uh, I love what you said, like, the Phelan in this domain are known for the music. And right then, there should be queued up the woo in the distance. <laughs> oh, you, like, the howl? Sorry, well, okay, Raph, you're so kind of cutting all... out a little today. Oh, sorry. So also in the book is the Burla Senyark, which is the, mm. uh, I think I'm pronouncing that, which is basically the howling language. So yeah. at night, okay, so, man, we did so much. Uh, this was in the original Phelan, but we cut it out in the second edition. So wolf howling is awesome because yeah. it's, um, uh, they have special choral arrangements where one oh. wolf leads and the rest go into it. They specifically have techniques and skill to this to sound as loud as possible. Because one of the major reasons to howl like this is so your pack can howl louder than the other pack. Because your pack way better than their pack. So, so it's like you're taking from the Germans in that respect, then. Yeah, so it's gonna be it, or or I would say like cheering at a football stadium. I was saying German. Um, uh, what I can't remember called German guttural singing. Uh, you're thinking Russian throat singing. No, no, they might. I don't think so. So, uh, or specifically Georgian throws him. But moving on. So, in also in Iron Claw domain, because anything could be languagified, like my sonar can turn in. Mm-hmm. Uh, they'll like basically give you the evening news. Town crier will come out and noise. So those howls, a Phelan domain the night aren't just spooky. That's also the sovereign announcing like a uh, congratulations to. Jenna and uh, Michael for having a new baby. Um, uh, in other news, if you see seven invaders, one of you know, uh, one of whom is a giant, they're invaded our territory. Feel free to murder them in the name of the king. All hail Highland Domain. Um, you know, they'll howl that, and then some other pack will pick up on that, and they'll howl that. So at night, there's these howling messages going through the air that none of us understand. Yeah, yeah. And the noise travels for a mile. Yep. So yes, you guys definitely hear this these uh, quarrel howls. Uh, and it will spook the crap out of you. Yeah, probably. They get all the, the boys together, boy and girls. They get all the boys and girls together, and they all get into it. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like a team a team sport. Um, and yeah, and Fiorenza will say that. She doesn't speak the language, but she is relieved to hear because it sounds like there are none that are coming too too close to you guys. So she thinks that you've set up a, a good spot for the night. I have another question, though. Um, just because when I was reading the book, I didn't come across it. What is the Phelan language called? Fien. Can you say Burla that one more time? The common language, Bur- uh, Burla Sienark, is the... Um... Uh, howling ones. Uh, all the Phelan will know Burla uh, um If you're looking only it a... up, it comes up a lot in the Book of Mysteries. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, right, right. All of them will know Burla Most of them will know Bur- uh, Burla Fiend. Or at least enough to yeah. ask for where the rest are. There you go. 
from from long range. Um, uh, and the tribes have their own languages too. Gotcha. What okay, was the cool. uh, what was the um, shoot? My brain stopped working. Oh, I never started really. What is our uh, escort's name? What's her name? <laughs> Trail uh, yeah, Ranger? Me... Ranger? I mean, what? What is she? Oh, yeah, let me... Trailblazer? You're... I can't think of the You're title. Into... What's her? What's her title though? Um, I guess her title. They call her Fiorenza the Follower. I guess her title would be she. Her class is Ranger, so she might be a Trailblazer. I think she makes her living by basically escorting people safely through the Phalon territories. Um, I don't know if that means like. I scout. mean, what have we been calling her this whole time? Is she a scout? It's a blank on what, scout. what we've been Where calling her. You said she was a ranger. Yeah, but I mean, if I was going to go into like, I don't know, this is like D&D, right? If I say, mm-hmm. I go into the tavern, I'm looking for a to lead us to through the mm-hmm. wilds. There's a word you usually use, and I can't remember what that word is. Oh. That's why trailblazer is the only thing coming into my head. I can't Mm-hmm. We need we need somebody who knows the wilds. We need a yeah. Besides ranger, ranger. guide, nothing that <laughs> nothing comes to my mind that's more appropriate. My problem than is those. there's a specific word, and my brain knows it, but it's not getting to my mouth. Mm. Well, uh, the two I'm thinking of are scout. Well, listen, if you remember it. Well, anyway, I'd like to yeah. talk to her while we're camping out. Yeah. Uh, even she speaks in kind of like a quiet tone, not quite a whisper, but you can tell that she's yeah, she's trying to keep a low profile here. So you know the Phelan lands well. Well enough that we'd hire you. How well do you know them? Um, She says, well, in this part of the uh, I, I have led no less than two dozen expeditions through uh this territory the uh the deasiak uh tauthna deasiak which i'm going to choose to pronounce it um they are uh not the most warlike of the phalan uh clans but um still they're not people that you want to uh, anger if I you care, can avoid it. I care little for the emotions of men. What do you know of the the dark figures of the sky? Ha. Ah. Um, you speaking of the goblins. Well, I have been fortunate enough to never cross paths with them, although I have seen evidence of their passing. Um, so I believe all of, or at least many of the rumors that I have heard. As of late, I have heard from uh, that the, the Phelan have encountered them more and more. None have pressed so far south that we have had to deal with them um, near Harrowgate, fortunately. Um, but yes, no one knows exactly why it is that they are currently... Uh, increasing their their rating more, they're making their presence more known to the Phalon in this area, which is really the Phalon I can talk to, but um, no one no one uh, barters or treats with the goblins. So, so you have no idea where to find them. Find them? I mean, I'm doing my best to avoid finding them, but um, no, what would it take to do the opposite? Uh, she looks at you like you are a madman. Uh, she says, well, there are members of, of the, uh, Fianna, the Thalan warriors who claim to hunt these things. They will seek them out in their dens. Um, I have never, I have never joined them or, or spoken to these folks, so I couldn't tell you, but apparently there are ways to track them. I understand the Phelan don't use the same money that the rest of us do. Is that correct? That's very true. They believe in, in trade over currency. Out of character. They use mm. earrings, don't they? Or something like that? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's... They use earrings because 
I mean, I don't remember what they're called. I'm calling them earrings. Yeah. I remember um, reading that in the book. I don't remember exactly what they're called. So, yes, they do have basically a form of currency. But if you were to ask any of them, they'd be like, no, no, we trade everything. Right, right. But I'm going to ask her, do you have any of these? Um, yeah. She does. Let's see. I guess we should actually probably figure out the exact trade for this. Hopefully in money. But she doesn't have a lot of it. She's got, like, a couple. She said I was lucky enough to uh, barter my way out of an encounter with a traveling group of Phalon. Um, and, I, you know, these don't have much value back in Harrogate, so I have kept them. No, of course these wouldn't be in the typical... Oh no, here we go. Bune de Ot, silver earrings. Earrings are worth about four denarii in silver. But one would still have to haggle when trading with merchants, even with the Phalon. Um, and trading them is specifically banned by Bisclavre law. So that's probably another reason why she would have two of them on her person. Because they don't want them being used at Harrowgate. So she only has two? Yeah. I'll give you 20 denarii for them. She'll scoff and say, um, that, that is a deal. Um... You realize, I feel honor bound to tell you that this is a very, that is a very generous offer for what these are actually worth in the territories. I'm aware. They're not very, they're not worth very much at all, but I'll take whatever advantage I can get. Also, since you just looked at them in the book, can you tell me how to spell that? <laughs> yeah, let me type them in the chat. B-U-N-N-E uh, dash D-E dash A-T I'm waiting for somebody who's actually a uh, Gaelic scholar to correct us on all our spellings and stuff. I'm sorry, you said D E dash A T? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep, exactly like it is in the. Oh, okay. So, does that mean you want your ear pierced? I'm more than happy to pierce your ear. Ugh. You know, no blade pierces this flesh. This is different. This is jewelry. No, this is a trade. You're trading for I've... jewelry. I'm trading for jewelry to trade for knowledge later. In the hopes that I don't have to kill a man. Well, I can't repeat your logic about that. Look, the way that I see this going is either there's going to be some sort of trade for what I want to know, or I'm going to have to fight their strongest champion. <laughs> so I'm just trying to skip over a middleman. Um, the Bisclave did get their custom of trial by combat from their family. Hmm. Look, we all know what happens when somebody asks me to fight them. <laughs> Despite what you may think of me, I don't like killing everybody that I meet. That's why I let well, so you're many a mercenary. Of... You don't oh. kill unless you're paid. Right, well, I get attacked so often while I'm not on the clock that this is what happens. That's why I let so many of them go. I don't want to kill somebody who can't fight. Which tends to you... be most people that fight me. You, uh... You, you speak bravely, but you do look like you have the experience to back it up. Still, if, if I'm doing my job correctly, we shouldn't have any cause to fight. Says Fiorenza. Well, how much to do your job a little bit worse? <laughs> I mean, she might laugh, but I will legitimately jiggle a coin pouch. Um, she shakes her head. She says, uh, no amount of money is worth my life. I've seen what the Phalon warriors uh, will do I mean, to us. So I assume she's no giant, so I will lean down. I could give you enough to retire on and still have more. Oh, man. I mean, that's pretty tempting. Uh, I think... So, she's definitely going to be intrigued. 
in my mind, the ridiculousness of a situation like this, oh, if someone asks you, like, hey, just, like, stop doing your job, it's weird. There's, like, personal pride wrapped up in that, too. If you're saying something a little more specific, like, hey, here's this money to just walk away, like, leave us out here alone, she would have to consider that, though. I'm not asking for that, because I don't know where we're going, so... I gotcha. don't so need her to lead us where we're going, but I need her to do her job badly enough that maybe we find It'll the run things. Into that, some... Yeah. Um, actually, what's his name? The guy from Congo. I'm basically pulling the guy from Congo. Tim, Tim Curry. Curry. Tim Curry from Congo. <laughs> I want to find this place. I need these things to show up. Um. Okay. So she's looking. She's eyeing this coin purse. Um, a little bit. And you can tell that she is very intrigued by the offer of more payment. And she says, um, I can't a good conscience put us in, in danger. But if you wanted to increase the your your payment slightly, I could detour us to the uh, the closest Phalon village. They could probably tell you. We they could probably give you some information. Are we on our way to the closest Phalon village? Um... Yeah, I guess that's a good question. You have sort of the general location of where the uh, fire mage was located. And if Fiorenza has her way, you would avoid the Phalon entirely. Well, how about we skip over that? How much is your conscience worth? Oh, she says, oh yeah, how much is it going to cost to do that? Um... Because she said, I can't in good conscience. Well, how much is that good conscience worth? How much is that good conscience worth? Um, I mean, she says, sir, you understand that if word gets out that I willingly led my charges into danger... I thought danger, you were retiring. doesn't matter what your reputation is anymore. You could live the good life. Wow, okay, yeah. So, what are you offering? You're offering, like like a hundred denarii for her to try to lead you towards three times the that. goblins three times <laughs> um she'll take your money and she looks at you and she'll say like wait 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 i don't realize. give the money before i have to sort of assurance yeah, yeah no you don't yeah but like she she would accept that offer but she does caution you that you realize that by doing this you put your yourself and pretty much everyone in the group in danger and she also says that like um once you find these things, I'm leaving. Like I'm out of here, because I need to. I I intend to live to a long time, rich or no. I intend to live for quite a, a few more years. So, of course, I'm not asking you to put your life at risk. Well, I am asking you to put your life at risk. I'm not asking you to stand and fight. Okay. Well, you know, she's gonna look at the money and she's gonna look at the other people in the party. She's gonna say, "Um, I urge you to think about this." And consider the, the well-being of your comrades. But in the morning, if you're still set on this, then I I will do what I can. I will try to uh, track down these goblins for you. You know what? And As that, I, I, the Harmon character that I am. Is Anushka still awake? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm going to wave you over. Ooh. Well, I kind of lost interest in that after we weren't doing it here. Uh, <laughs> what may I do for I'm going to pay her to lead us into basically a trap. Okay. Have fun with that. All right. She's down with it. I'd wave wait, Connor over. Wait, but... I'm not. Wait, wait. I think you misunderstood. Why would <laughs> I want to wander into a trap? Well, you said, okay, have fun with that. And you started walking away. So I just assumed that you were okay with that. Well, with you wandering off? No, sure. no. All of us. I mean, you can well, run I mean, away as soon as the trap is sprung. I don't care. You could leave me behind. Uh, I, I'm confused. If you know it's a trap, why are you wandering? Because it's the only way that I can lure out my prey. Why are you hunting someone? Who's paying you for that? Ah, uh, no, this is one of them. This is, is this my... your mountain goblin thing? He's grinding rip. Oh, Connor is back. I wave Connor over, too. <laughs> well, the reason I didn't wave Connor over is because you still have your screen up, so I thought you weren't here. Oh, I'm, I forgot James yet. Shit. There we go. 
Yeah, is this your mountain goblin thing or is this something? Yes, yeah, so it's this thing. Okay, so you're going goblin. I'm going Kay. after going after the largest prey that there is in every domain. We've gotten well, I would, the giant T-Rex I, thing. I confess, I would be a liar if I said that I wouldn't want to see a mountain goblin come this far. <laughs> and I also am guessing that she's attempting to talk you out of this as a fool's errand. So, um, well, uh, if they would indeed consider you uh, as a subject, uh, you realize, of course, they might also enslave you and take you off to the goblin. I'm now having some sort of confusion about what you're saying. <laughs> I said they might not kill you. They might <laughs> subdue you, take you off to the goblin land where you'll go. Oh, and- okay, okay. Right. I th- the way you were saying it made me think that I thought you were talking about the Phelan would take me to the goblins. Like, no, I'm looking for the goblins. So, okay, no, no. I, I follow you now. Yeah. No, the goblins might, you know, you realize you, you realize you might not die getting it. They might enslave. Uh, I, can, I can assure you the thought never crossed my mind that I might even die. Okay. Sigh. Well... In for a penny, in for a pound. I will follow. Oh, boy. Yeah. Fiorenza is looking at you like you are a crazy city slicker. I'll you tell you have... what I'll do is I'll even give you three Orioles for the trouble. Hey. Anushka. Oh, um, yes, I agree. Well, you already agreed, and now I'm giving you three Orioles for the trouble that they might present you. Thank Seeing you. as you probably, if I do find them, and some miracle that I fail, and you wouldn't be able to loot my body, I'm giving you something to remember me by. Wow, I've never been paid gold just to run away. But everything's coming up on it. And you, Connor? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, on one hand, I do want to test my metal. Well, if we find I mean, more than one, you find your own. <laughs> very well. You call dibs. Yeah, if there's more than one, I get the biggest one. No, you can have the biggest two. That's fine. <laughs> You'll take the third. You'll take the runt. <laughs> I'll take mom and dad. You take son. 